The year was 1943. America was involved in a world war. Back home, materials were in scarce supply. Bernard Hewitt, along with his brothers Albert and Leon Hirsch, began buying used plywood crates, tearing them down, and reselling the wood to lumber yards and furniture makers. Bernard's son, Peter Hewitt, who went on to work at Plygem for 25 years, remembers stories of their first real opportunity when Albert met a man who worked at the Grumman plant assembling Tomcat fighter planes. It turned out they were burning the crates, that the airplane parts were coming in. My father and uncle went out there and ended up buying the crates for 25 cents a crate and was selling that. Three years later, the brothers formed Craftsman Plywood Corporation and soon began manufacturing plywood to meet the growing demands of the post-war housing boom. My father was kind of the visionary of the company and he saw the industry changing and we grew with it. He was always looking for an opportunity and looking for the next step. You know, as the war was coming to an end, he looked at other products and other things to do. Renamed the Industrial Plywood Company in 1959, the company began manufacturing pre-finished wood paneling. We were always competing with much larger companies, but we always found a way to find a niche in the marketplace with new products, quality products. When we started manufacturing wall paneling, our designs were good, our prices were good and our relationship uh, with our customers was good. Innovation drove the company from the start. In the early 60s, the company introduced a new hardwood paneling product called Ply Gems, ply for plywood and gem meaning quality, and consolidated production in Plywood City, a 100,000 square foot plant located in Queens, New York. In 1968, Ply Gem became the company's name. In the 1970s, Plygem began an era of expansion under the leadership of Jeffrey Silverman. Among the more important acquisitions was Veriform, manufacturer of vinyl siding and metal exterior products. Plygem also moved aggressively into the window and door business with the acquisition of Great Lakes Windows. By 1997, Plygem Industries was concentrating on low-maintenance exterior products such as vinyl and aluminum siding, windows and doors, propelling the company on its current course today. It sold many of the earlier wood-based and other businesses. During this time, the company made several acquisitions, including Napco Siding and Croy, a maker of vinyl fencing and rail. In 2004, Plygem expanded its window and door products with the acquisition of MW Manufacturing and CWD Doors and Windows. In 2006, new president and CEO Gary Robinette began a mission to unify the building products companies under one Plygem. The company expanded its portfolio to include precast stone products and additional window and siding brands. Robinette spearheaded several additional acquisitions, including Alcoa Home Exteriors, which was later named Mastic Home Exteriors. We've positioned ourselves, I think, better than probably most of our competitors to really drive our products, our systems, as the industry continues to improve. Well, another key date on our history as Plygem is May of 2013, a watershed year for us in that we acquired Gino Windows and Doors in Calgary. We had our initial public offering. We acquired Mitten Building Products. Hello, Mitten by Plygem. With nearly 25 exterior building product categories today, that strategy is paying off. We have become the best building products company for our associates as well as our customers and our suppliers uh, in the entire industry. Well, from a distributor perspective, a one Plygem solution uh, is, is easier for them in that they only have to deal with one company to purchase their siding and windows and designer accents and fence and rail and stone products versus dealing with multiple manufacturers in each of these categories. 
Plygem is known for quality. Today, the company is a leading manufacturer of virtually every home exterior product, from low-maintenance, energy-efficient windows, siding, stone veneer, to fence and rail, trim and moldings, and related exterior home accessories. We have the best quality, and you don't have that without having the best people. Every one and door that we build, we build it just like it's going in our own home, because we don't want the customer buying anything that we wouldn't have in our home. And uh, you know, we stand behind our product. You know, we can picture people looking out that window and saying, that's a Plygem product. Those people are proud of it. Plygem is stamping the name on the products we produce here. And once we put our name on it, Plygem, I want to make sure the part's good when it goes out. When they receive that product, they're doing something extraordinary. They're rebuilding a house, they're building a house, they're remodeling. And to them, it's got to be the best. So whatever we ship to our customers, it's got to be what I would expect to get when I open a carton. It's just exciting to see the dedication that our employees have in making our products and satisfying our customers' needs and understanding that the quality of the product they make really determines what it's going to look like on a home. Through many industry firsts in vinyl siding, of which Plygem is the largest U.S. producer today, to a revolutionary window with easy-to-remove sash, innovation is a tradition that has helped make Plygem the leader in its industry. When you have that kind of a position, you need to act like a leader. And part of being a leader is bringing new products, new services, and technologies to the marketplace. That's what our customers want. That focus on customers has been evident throughout Plygem's history. The company and its products have touched consumers in many ways. A NASCAR sponsorship that more closely connected the company with its customer base, to partnering with ABC's Extreme Makeover Home Edition to rebuild a tornado-ravaged community in Joplin, Missouri. Today, Plygem is committed to developing the next generation of innovative products and services for the industry. We bring a new way of building homes to people and to our customers, the builders. So that's kind of the vision, and that's why innovation is important. Plygem today represents the same vision and values that marked its beginnings 70 years ago a focus on innovation people, value, and customer needs. If my father and uncles were alive today, 70 years after they formed the company with no money, to see that it's now a billion dollar company, they would be proud. Their legacy lives on. You know, Plygem's got a very rich history of entrepreneurship. We grew from small roots in a variety of different products. I think entrepreneurship is key, especially as you get bigger, because you want your employees thinking about the business at the lowest level of the customer. Plygem is building the American dream by giving people the opportunity for success, giving them a place to work, a place to build their dream. For this company, Plygem to last 70 years tells me that it's a good, strong company that I want to continue to be a part of. Every day when their kids are walking to school or they're driving through their neighborhood, they see our products and we feel proud to contribute to the country and the homeowners. What began from humble beginnings 70 years ago with one family working to achieve the American dream is enabling hundreds of thousands of families to build their own dreams today. Plygem represents enduring values, a focus on quality and innovation, and a commitment to meeting customer needs that is unmatched in the industry. Plygem, building products, building success.